All right, next one we're going to work on is right here. It's uh, this guy right here. Uh, I believe this is the bottom side of a trilobite, which is pretty cool, but we're going to go ahead and get started on this one. I want to see what this one looks like. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to put you on time lapse again. All right, guys, this is that same fossil I was just showing you just a minute ago. It just popped out of uh, right here. I took the little air pen and I gently just went around the edge of it in it because I wanted to see what the top of it looked like. And this is what we got. I think that mineralization is really, really cool. And I really don't think I want to use the air pen to get rid of it. So I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is because I, I like the, the addition of the minerals. I think it makes it looks really cool. Some of it will probably come off though, of course, but for right now, I think I'm going to just leave it just the way it is until I find some method of holding the fossil in place better than using my finger because I only have one light source and it's coming from that direction. And so if I'm holding it using the microscope, to you it's probably not so bad, but using the microscope it makes it so dark I have a really hard time seeing it and since it's so small and it just seems so perfect just the way it is, I really don't think I'm going to touch it any further. Now, the back side, when you were watching me work on the back side, you guys were probably thinking, oh man, he's destroying that fossil. Look, it's not very detailed. This is the bottom. It isn't as detailed as the top is. So, I'm not damaged. I haven't damaged this bottom fossil. I've been really, really careful to make sure that I don't hurt the bottom of it. Kind of like, I just, I didn't do as good of a job making sure I didn't damage it as well as the other fossils I was working on. I was being a little bit more aggressive with those ones versus this one. Um, the reason being is because this is this one is pretty much almost intact. All we're missing is those little free cheeks, which are these little funny grooves you see. And let me get this to point. It's not operating right now, but right here, there's there's a free cheek missing here, and there's one missing right here. So I may try and get just this little bit out right here, but I really don't want to mess with it. It's just it's so perfect, and I like the colors because of the mineral layer on top. So I, actually, I think I'm gonna just leave it. I think we're done with this one. It looks really nice, right? We can get measurements and study this one just the way it is. Big thanks to the University of Utah for letting me work in their lab. Also thanks to the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program at the U for funding me while I do this. And as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing.